Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, so I've got some LED light flowers using OBI color paints. I'll be using Nail Teaks Formula 2 as my base coat, and then I'm trying to peel ease over that. I will tell you, it don't work so good. Um, my signature is DC, is going to be my base polish today by OBI, and I've topped it off with some posh top coat. I'll be using Beauty Big Bang number 16, and all of these color paints, primarily yellow, chromatic orange, oops, dropping stuff, and turquoise aesthetic, pen and pink, and purple perspective, magenta muse, and landscape artist, and indigo motif. I'll be using a dotting tool today also. I'll be using my Beauty Big Bang Stamper, my old monocle stamper from Bundle Monster, and my AliExpress old stamper, and the stampers I've been using, my clear fat stamper and my little rectangular one. I'll be using the clear jelly scraper and Brave Diva on the black stamping polish today to stamp out these images. I am gonna stamp out five of them. That's why I've got so many stampers out. I'm going to stamp out five of them and then fill them all in in succession, you know, together. I'm only going to show me filling in one um, or it would have been like a 30-minute video. <laughs> so I am just going to swipe and pick up that image. And it picked up really nicely. I love these Beauty Big Bang plates. And I'm just using a little dotting tool. And you could use like any jelly polishes for this technique. Um, and if you don't own jelly polishes, they're, you know, you can make them. You can mix regular polish with clear um, to get the desired effect, you know, something kind of see-through. And I'm just going in with the dotting tool and filling in these flowers with different colors. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk through this while I'm filling in this one. You know, um, I'm doing all of them pretty much the same. But I want to get back to using the peel off, the peel ease on top of my Nail Ticks Formula 2. Um, you can do it. I'm not going to tell you you can't do it. Uh, you will need to soak them in warm water before you try to start peeling that off. And it is not going to come up in one sheet um, or one peely. It's going to come off in pieces. And you're still going to have the residue and um, your base coat still underneath it. So it is doable. Um, I would highly recommend at least doing two coats of the peel ease for that. I personally um, probably will not be doing that. I'll either be using peel ease in my, as my base coat or I will use my Nail Teaks Formula 2. It depends on how long I'm planning on wearing a manicure. Um, you know, a lot of times I like to change them out quite frequently. And I do love a peel off base coat for that. Um, but there, a lot of times my nails need the Nail Teaks Formula 2. Um, they're, they get kind of peely and whatever. So here we go. We're going to apply these. And I will be using the American Classics Yellow Stopper just as a sticky base. You could also use, you know, Orly Bonder or any other sticky base. Um, and if you're working one nail at a time like I am, you could probably use pretty much any kind of clear coat. You know, something that's not going to dry just wicked fast. And I'm just putting a real thin layer of that down and going straight from the stamper. I'm going to apply that to the nail, pushing it down really well. And then I'm going to, well, I'm going to tear this little piece off right here. But I'm going to push it down with my fingers and make sure it's sticking really well. I'll go back and do some cleanup here in a little bit. On to the next nail. I wanted to go ahead and show you the fun stuff applying these to all of the nails today. I could have just showed one, but you know, what you gonna do? We're gonna show them all today. I was really excited to do this manicure. Um, I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for pastels and bright colors and green and you know, um, all that all that comes with spring coming. So I wanted to kind of do a manicure that was kind of heading that direction. There we go. Going to do this last one. Kind of twisting it a little bit so I can get more flowers on that nail instead of just the vine. And look how much stuff I got left. Oh well. 
pat, 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 stick that down. And tear this little bitty piece off that's hanging over. And there we go. Now today I'm going to do the Battle of the Cleanup Brushes. I have a plethora of cleanup brushes. This, these are not all of them, but I have this one from Uber Chic, And it's okay. If it would stay firm like it is before it gets wet, it would be my ideal cleanup brush. It's beautiful, and it does work pretty well. You know, I'd give this one like four stars. You know, it's okay. Um, I'm... I'm going to give give five of them a shot today. Now this is the Sonia Kushak Tools number 27, but it's a black tipped brush. And let me tell you, girlfriends, it is different. It is not the same as my gold tipped one. It's a lot more flimsy. It takes a whole lot more work for me to get the job done. Um, not really that impressed. I paid big bucks for this one on eBay um, in a desperate attempt to, you know, get a backup for my my favorite cleanup brush and this one is not it i will use it i will find a way to use it for something um, but it will not be the replacement it's not going to be my my favorite cleanup brush ever it just ain't gonna make it it's gonna make the cut and i don't know how well these are going to hold up any of these are going to hold up to acetone um only time will tell so we'll see I've also got this bundle monster one and it looks gorgeous and it and it does okay but it's also a, a little flimsy and floppy and that's not what I'm looking for in a cleanup brush I like a very firm you know stiff bristled cleanup brush I like it to not spread out all over the place when I take it into my cuticle area this one's okay. Now, I didn't even buy this one for the cleanup brush. I bought it for that little tiny stamper on the other end of it, which I will demo in a future video. Um, that is what I, I had a big coupon that a friend sent me, and I decided to go ahead and get me one of those little stampers. It's like the pencil stamper. So I will, and as you can see, I'm really having to work on this. This is just, just too much work. I'm just not digging it. I'm not happy about it. Of course, it doesn't help that that's, you know, a dark blue polish getting all over the place. And I'm having to break Woody out because I just can't, I can't keep swiping that with the brush. It's making me insane. And there we go, back in with the brush. You know, in theory, all of these brushes are just excellent, um, but, mm, Okay, now this one is from e.l.f. and it came in a box and it was in a black box and it's number 203. It has a little spoolie on the end of it which has nothing to do with cleaning up nails. But let me tell you guys, I'm pretty happy with this one. Out of all the ones I'm trying today, this one gets four and a half stars. So it's, it's, it's doable. It's a little more firm. It's a little small, but I can deal with that. Um, it's, it's about the flexibility and, and not being too flexible for me. This is all personal preference. You guys might love all of these other brushes for cleanup brushes. I'm just spoiled. I got one that I loved, and um, I'm, I'm working on finding, you know, a way to move on when mine dies. Now, here is my beloved Sonia Kushak Tools number 27 with the gold tip, and this one I'm just comfortable with. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to be careful. I'm just shoop, 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 and it's done. My cleanup is done. It's amazing. Um, I can't tell anybody out there, if you, if you guys find one of these brushes, I'm willing to pay for it and shipping and something for your time and trouble. Just, you know, send me an email. I'm going to be topping this manicure today with some of that Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I am really loving it. It's um, an excellent top coat. It dries fast. It goes on very nice and glossy. And here is my final manicure. So I hope you liked this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.